it was Greek, obviously, and I could see one word, which was diatropi in Greek. Diatropi means disgust. So what would you do in this situation? You look it up in the dictionary. And it turned out that according to the large Oxford Dictionary of Ancient Greek, it was a peculiar term which was used by Philodemus, the other Epicurean author whose works are known from the Herculaneum schools. So that sort of set us on a path on the track. And in this experiment, we're using what's called hard X-rays. These are very penetrative X-rays. It's a beautiful beam, actually. Very penetrative X-rays that go through material. And these will sail through the scrolls. And what's interesting is the difference between a piece of papyrus and a piece of papyrus and ink is very, very small. But nevertheless, the X-rays are absorbed differently, behave differently through the ink scroll and through the bits without. And you can see the difference um, by measuring that on a camera downstream. You do that in three dimensions by rotating the scroll through the beam so you see it from every angle. And then you've captured information um, in an image of where is their papyrus scroll, where is their papyrus scroll and ink. And that difference, that contrast is what enables people to see what's going on inside the scroll. That's what we are hoping to reach. So maybe we will see what exactly the work is and we don't have to guess. Because if we reach that bit of the scroll, it will tell us what it is.